Now, you guys cannot believe what has happened in Omoro district at the barrio of the late Speaker of Parliament, Jacob Olanya. Oh my God, this has never happened before. I have never seen this before. <laughs> anyway, in other news, the father has finally revealed what killed his son, Jacob Olanya. Yes, Mr. Nathan Lokori has finally told us what killed Jacob Olanya. Subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. I told you, you got the buzz, you got everything. Yes, yeah, so what you have to do, make sure that you be part of the family 24-7 because right here, you'll get everything. Now, as you can see in that video, that's what happened in Omoro district. Everyone was shocked. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That is wind taking away the tent. You know, this is something that has never happened anywhere. I have never witnessed this, guys. I have never seen this happening. Hey! Now, after that happening, uh, Jacob Olanya's father stood up and addressed the mourners. Remember, in the morning, I told you that Jacob Olanya's father had been stopped from addressing the mourners at the burial ceremony. Now, the reason that was given is that he's too weak and he can't speak because of the bereavement. But later, because of the pressure from the residents, Musei was allowed to speak to the mourners. Because, you know, the residents were saying, no, we want Musei to speak. Don't bring up your fake excuses. Simanya, Musei is too weak, yet we can see him. He's walking very well. So he was allowed to speak to the mourners. But guess what? Musei stated it clearly that his son told him that he had been poisoned. Yes, Musei said it boldly on the microphone. He said it that his son told him he had been poisoned. The poison, the poison affected his health so badly. By the time he was flown out for treatment, he was not in a position to recover. He was too weak. Mano, yinamami boru. You the mourners, please receive this information from me in good faith. My son has died. He is now gone. We will never see him again. This is something that people in government are saying that we shouldn't talk about. Yet the father is repeatedly saying it that his son told him he was poisoned. So tell me, is police going to arrest the father? You know, the other day I said it right here that instead of government running away from this claim, they should actually investigate the matter. I mean, that is when the people will come down. That's when people will come down. I mean, Jacob Olanya had supporters, Jacob Olanya had a family, Jacob Olanya had friends, and all these people, they want justice for their person. That's why I said that personally, I think government should actually take some step and investigate this issue of poison. But they are saying they are going to arrest people that are talking about it, and yet the father is saying it boldly. Now, Jacob Olanya's brother, that is Francis, also stood up and said that in the beginning, when Jacob Olanya had just been taken in U.S., uh, you know, there are people in this government who stopped him from traveling to the U.S. in hospital where Jacob Olanya was admitted. So who stopped me? You have seen what has happened here. Jacob is alive. 
you just witness it now, right here. I think Francis was supposed to, you know, donate some part of his body to Jacob Olanya, but those people in government delayed to allow him go and Jacob Olanya's condition deteriorated. But he did not disclose who those people are. So that's what happened in Omoro district, but guys, honestly, having looked at this video, I think this is the real definition of the dead are not dead. You remember that statement in high school? The dead are not dead, discuss. I think this is the real definition of this statement, the dead are not dead. Hey! Anyway, so that is it. I don't know what you guys think of, you know, this news. I don't know what you guys think of, uh, you know, this story. But that's what happened in Omoro district. And definitely, I told you, you got the buzz, you got everything. So I will keep you posted on everything that is coming up. What you have to do, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Thank you.